No biscuits. Ugh. I thought I'd do a video showing you how to wear silks, how to wear knits, and also black during the spring season, which you normally don't see. So first off is silks. Now I teamed up with Lily Silk. Now they produce 100% silk um, clothing and they are absolutely fantastic. Um, the quality of them is just, they just feel so, so nice. I mean, it's, it's silk, so you can imagine how it feels. So um, I picked four of their items and this one is probably the most staple in the wardrobe, if you ask me. It is their 100% crepe de chine silk shirt and it's got these flap pockets on the front. And I thought I would team it with a gold sort of leopard print skirt. You already know the skirt from Realization Par. And I like the idea of being that the shirt is black, that I would just team it with lots of gold jewelry, just quite thin, but lots of it. So it's just like the idea of that contrast of black and gold, which are two color combinations that I've always loved to wear anyway. Now the shirt is super lightweight and it's also wrinkle resistant, which is brilliant for those who aren't fans of irons, irons like myself. Um, I could easily see this paired as well with obviously a pair of jeans to keep it really classic, a pair of trousers for work, and then really dress down even with old denim shorts. And it comes in six colors, which was great. So next up is this silk cami dress. Now, I've always been a fan of slip dresses and this one came in two colors, in red and ruby red and in navy. I went with the navy and this is 90% mulberry silk and 10% spandex, which is interesting because, you know, it just allows an extra bit of give because some slip dresses are just like, mm, they have no movement, but this one does, which really helps. Now, being it's spring and we haven't exactly got um, that kind of temperature where we can have all your skin out, I decided to pair it with a tight polar neck underneath. That way it's more wearable at this time of the year. And also, if you're just sort of self-conscious with your arms as well, you can use this trick as well. So you can get to have your cake and eat it, right? You can get to wear a satin or a silk, um, in this case, slip dress, and then, but still have your arms covered. Then being that it's a navy blue, I thought it would pair perfectly with the Loewe puzzle bag. Because I love, as you know, navy and browns. I've always said that those colors pair well together. Wear this later on, drape a denim jacket over it or a blazer or a trench. It's up to you. And also dress it up later on with heels if you're going out for the evening. I love the idea as well. And then another one I picked, which is probably my favorite out of the four from the silk category, is this beautiful blue, this navy blue blouse, high neck. Look at the puffed shoulder detail, the cuffs. I just loved everything about this blouse. that material it's just so oh, this the sheen on it is just beautiful and as I said being silk you can imagine how it feels on your skin the quality of this is absolutely fantastic and I'm really really um, glad that I've got these items because to me silk is just trendless right it's something that will always be in your wardrobe now this is 90% mulberry silk and it's 10% spandex so it's also got that slight stretch, slight give, so it just makes that little bit of difference in the comfort factor. Now I paired mine with a pair of um, vintage Levi's, faded, because I like the idea of like a light denim with the dark uh, blouse. But I can imagine something like this easily dressed up at the office. You could wear this with a pair of trousers, or maybe if you're going to a party, you could just switch out the jeans and just wear this um, with a skirt. Or if you're going to a casual party, wear it as I've got it here with a pair of strappy sandals. 
and then even you could wear it with a really like sort of statement skirt or a slinky skirt and then go to a wedding and then have like a little statement bag small and then you've got the heels on so to me this is a really sort of quite flexible blouse but i love the idea of just wearing it just with a pair of your favorite jeans just like i've done it here Now the last look is this fantastic ruby red shirt. Now it's coming out brighter than it is actually in person. It is this gorgeous, rich, luxe looking color. It is beautiful. It's, this is 100% Charmeuse silk. And to me, this is as glossy looking as it gets. You can see already it's picking up just from being outside. It's, it really has like, a, like I said, a very sort of high gloss look to it. And that to me makes it look uh, really luxurious and it feels that way as well I've popped a discount code for you in the description box for anything from the Lily Silk website So here's three takes on how to wear knitwear into the spring and just extend its life. Now the first up is this play on basically it's weights, right? So you've got the chunkiness of this um, knit and then you've got the thin fluid fabric of the satin skirt. Okay, and also you've got the fact that it's two different textures. So you've got that chunky knit and the contrast with the smoothness of the satin material and then the color play as well. So you've got that bright orange uh, jumper with that mustard yellow. You know, you don't know how I feel about mustards as well. Now, I've already worn this look on my Instagram feed, uh, Karen Britchick, and I wore it with white dad sneakers, but I thought that the Adidas gazelles in the black and white worked. I like the contrast, actually, of the play of them with the light-colored clothing, so I put those together. So let this be an example to you. So you don't have to put away your chunky sweaters. You can definitely still extend them into the spring. Just team them with, team them with a lighter fabric and you will be golden. Now for my next look on extending knitwear into the springtime, I took this Reese Knit Top, which actually right now is about 70 to 80 percent off on sale I'll link it below for you I wanted to go with this play on white on white it's a nice way to just make knitwear feel a lot more spring appropriate right because of the color of it um, I like the look of just all white because to me that sort of reads as being quite timeless and classic um, and also it looks quite elegant as well especially if you was to like pair it with a, a pair of heels you could easily go out into a, an evening party um, I dressed it down obviously with these Adidas um, Gazelle sneakers in leopard print. Now I just love that play of just going something that's re wearing something that's very casual with wide leg trousers. So it sort of walks that line between being casual and dressed down, but still feeling sort of quite effortless at the same time. Now this is how I do my half tuck on my jumpers. I just tuck it in from the middle and then on the side and then I just fold over the jumper. So yeah, that's just my version of wearing something that's all white, feels casual, feels kind of effortless at the same time. Now this last look on knitwear into spring is the sleeveless polar neck that I've got in this fantastic rich yellow color and it's really just demonstrating how you can winterize your um, spring dresses or just kind of 
where make them a bit more appropriate for spring because spring is that transitional time isn't it where i couldn't necessarily wear this dress with my bare chest showing so this is my way around it wearing this sleeveless polar neck um, knit now i really chose this because one um, if you don't like your arms then this is a perfect option for you because you can invest in buying this sleeveless knit but don't wear it like that you don't have to wear as i've said to you before wear things as they're presented to you and in this case i'm not i'm hiding it so i'm just wearing it as something to layer underneath my dresses and i chose the yellow because i love how the green of the dress wears pairs nicely with the yellow and green and yellow they pair well together Now this dress is from And Other Stories. I love the tie detail in the front and the polka dots and just that overall cut. It's very Karen to me, the dress like this. And I like the fact it's got a deep front. And that's another thing. If you're self-conscious with like your front, like your chest area, the boobs, you can easily, like I said, wear something like this um, polar neck and that hides it for you. But it doesn't sort of take away from the silhouette of the neckline of the dress. Now, I was indoors before I didn't have a chance to go anywhere yet um, so I just filmed this before I left to go out hence being barefoot whilst I'm pottering around the house if you do um, get this dress it runs true to size so you can definitely get the size that you normally are now another thing I liked about this is that the fact that there's no sleeves on this knit means that there's no bulk in the sleeves of the dress either. So that's another good reason why I would consider buying a, a sleeveless knit like this. It's just a good layering piece. So here's another idea for wearing black in the springtime. Why not go with something that is a sheer fabric? That immediately eliminates the heaviness feeling of the black, right? And it keeps it very light and feeling very sort of more towards the spring and summer season. Now here, I'm actually wearing two dresses in one. I'm wearing a sheer, completely sheer Zara beaded dress. Now, the reason I can get away with wearing it is because I have layered a camisole underneath it. So that is a trip, the tip for you. You can double up um, and wear um, a sheer dress by just wearing a camisole underneath it. And the camisole can be longer than the sheer dress or it can be shorter. Also, I'm a believer that black and blues or black and navies work well together so that's why i was cool with wearing this particular color combination and then i finished off with a chocolate brown plaited belt because that works well with these colors now if you're conscious about your arms then um, and you don't want to wear a camisole by itself camisole dress or a slip dress this is another alternative right is to take a sheer dress and to wear it layered on top of your camisole dress see so that if you don't want to have your arms out, just get something like this and wear it on top. And it's black, but to me, it still feels like spring. So here is my second look on wearing black during the spring time, which again, like I said before, is not what you'd normally associate color-wise to wear at this time of the year. Uh, polka dots. To me, polka dots are a good way of wearing black in the springtime because it's such a pretty color and it's just a nod to wearing it, isn't it? So I teamed this blouse with a black denim skirt. It is like a midi length skirt. Um, to me, this skirt is less expected than the typical denim blue skirts that are out there because it's got the contrasting stitch. It's midi length, it's black, um, and also just the, the side splits as well. I thought that was quite 
um, interesting just to have as a design feature. To me, it actually is quite functional because when the temperatures get warmer, you're gonna pro probably quite welcome the fact that there's slits on the side just for some extra breeze and ventilation. Plus it takes the bulk out of the material. I loved wearing these um, boots as well with it because to me it just kept the whole look very western. Now I like the, that this is a cropped blouse. You see where it stops on my waist? That means it sits nicely on top of skirts and on top of jeans instead of having to deal with tucking it and getting that extra bulk. Boots are still available on the Topshop website. I'll definitely link below if they are. And to me, this look is perfect for like, I don't know, like a weekend. You could obviously switch out the boots if you want. You don't want to do this whole Western vibe and just go with a pair of sneakers or um, going out for brunch. I think this is like the perfect kind of in between sort of casual um, and being dressed up. It's a very sort of laid back kind of look and you're not wearing a pair of jeans. <laughs> So this is my last outfit and also my last take on wearing black during the springtime. Essentially, I am wearing a black ruffled maxi dress with spaghetti strap shoulders, um, but you can't see any of that really because I am wearing it with a white leather jacket. So I've got that contrast of black and white. Now I love this leather jacket, you've seen it before in a couple of my other videos or one of them. This is by Ganny, it is fringed and it is leather and I love that it's white actually because it well actually it's slightly off-white which makes it even more wearable to me. But it's perfect for spring because it's white, it's less expected than wearing a black leather jacket that everybody wears already. And I like that this is like a shirt, a shirt cut to it as well which is um, a little bit more wearable than probably wearing like a, a little cropped jacket. This is obviously a very strong monochromatic look. It's about black and it's about white as well. And I like the idea of, again, winterizing the um, dress by wearing a tight polo neck underneath it, because again, it's spring. So the weather isn't necessarily always gonna be really warm. So you want to be able to layer up and then peel off as necessary throughout the day. So I hope this spring outfit um, inspirational lookbook helped you and I will see you next Friday.